Actually, there, there are several leaks, one around the, the capping stack itself, and there are, actually are some down by the uh, blowout preventer, and some of them are actually producing some hydrates on the, uh, on the equipment itself. Uh, we don't believe they're contributory to uh, what I would call a, a structural uh, problem with either the horizon blowout preventer or the capping stack. That said, we've got literally hundreds of thousands of pounds of uh, apparatus sitting on that wellhead down there. It's been there for quite a long time. It's been subjected to a lot of different pressures on it. Uh, and I think we all need to understand that the quicker we get this done, the quicker we would reduce risk of any type of uh, internal failure that we're not aware of right now that could be working and we just don't know because we don't know the condition of the inside of the, uh, uh, of the Deepwater Horizon uh, blowout preventer. So while I can't give you uh, a cost for action to move forward quickly, uh, I think the cost for action to get this thing solved in the hurricane season is, is cost for action enough to move fast. Uh, but we don't have any, any definitive uh, information regarding any structural uh, integrity issues. Uh, but I, I couldn't tell you to 100% we couldn't rule it out, but I think moving at best speed is probably best indicated.